Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. It has definitely been a while. I've been away from the channel for a while, but I am back. I am Renee and there's gonna be a few different things happening on this channel. So I hope that you will join. I hope that you will like, share and subscribe and hit that notification bell to see more videos and so that you can be notified when I post more videos. But this channel is all about uplifting, encouraging, inspiring you to use your talents and your gifts uh, to fulfill your God-given purpose in life, right? And to encourage other people uh, to encourage your friends, your family, and anybody that you know, use what you have. But I hope that the videos that are posted that you will definitely enjoy, that you will learn from the tutorials, that you will learn from any conversations that we have. But let's, let's just have some fun. Let's enjoy life and let's inspire someone else. Let's get into the video. Hey guys, all right, so let's get into this tutorial right now. So I'm gonna be showing you how to cover this Bible right here. It can also be applied on a book. Um, as you can see, it's a bit old, um, got a little bit messed up by some moisture. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you how to cover this the very simple way, no sanding, uh, not a bunch of drama. So I'm gonna be showing you that today. Um, also, I'm going to be telling you what you need. So you're going to need some E6000 glue, very, very, very strong glue. You're going to be needing that if you have uh, another type of glue that you like to use that's also very strong, then you can do that. But I like this because uh, it's thick, it's strong, and it dries clear, and it's flexible. Okay, so I'm going to use that. And you're going to need a pair of scissors. You're going to need some paper towel in case you get some glue residue somewhere. You're going to need that. And your fabric, most of all. Um, I'm using today some beautiful brocade fabric that I had here. Uh, I'm going to be using the rest of that because it was so pretty. And I'm like, ooh, I have to do something with this. So that's that. And this is how the end result will look. And I'm going to be showing you um, some things to make it easy on yourself. All right? So... Here we go, we're gonna put that to the side. And I laid down some paper towel here just because I don't wanna mess up, mess up my uh, you know cloth right here. So I'm gonna be showing you that and we're gonna try to do this as quick as possible. So what you're gonna do first is, of course you can measure out your fabric. Um, what I do instead of measuring the whole book first, just to make it easy sometimes, um, I eyeball a lot of things when I do things. So <laughs> what I'm going to show you today is how to eyeball it. All right. <laughs> so I'll do another, if I do another tutorial one day, I'll show you how to measure exactly. But we're not measuring today because we're trying to make this quick, right? So you're going to lay out your fabric and this is the wrong side. This is the right side of the fabric. You're going to make sure that you put the right side of your fabric laid flat down on the table and your wrong side up, okay? Then you're gonna take your Bible and you're gonna place it on your fabric because you wanna make sure that you have enough, okay? You wanna make sure that you have enough of your fabric to cover the Bible, all right? So we see it is, it's not gonna work this way, right? We gotta move it over a little bit. So by moving it over, we're gonna flap over the fabric to make sure the fabric is covering both sides of your Bible or your book we're gonna do that, okay? So now you can see that I have my fabric. You're gonna grab it tightly. You're gonna pull it like this and you're gonna grab it tightly. And you just wanna smooth it out and just make sure that you, you have enough. So you can see that I have enough here. This is how I like to just kind of measure, you know, the book. If the middle of it is bent, you're just gonna kind of straighten it a bit and you're just gonna make sure that you have enough so that you can flip it around 
here on the inside. Now when you flip it around here on the inside, don't worry yet about the extra fabric. We're just doing a little bit of measurement, right? So you're gonna flip it around just like this so we know we have enough fabric to cover the whole Bible or the whole book. The excess, you're gonna fold underneath. You're gonna fold the excess underneath and lay it flat. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're gonna fold the excess inside just like this and we're gonna keep it like this. So now you see that our whole book, we have enough fabric to cover the whole book. So you, if you had a bigger piece of fabric, you can also do this, cut off the fabric you need and leave the rest. So you see how we have it? There we go, it's covered our, it covered our book, okay? So now what we're gonna do, I know that I can cut off at least half of this. I can cut at least half of this or a little bit more than half. I'm only gonna leave just a little bit because I have to fold it over. I don't wanna be folding over all this fabric. So now that the other side, you see the other side is folded over. This is about an inch um, or a little more than an inch, right? So we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna bring my Bible over. Once again, I'm gonna make sure that it's covering the side fold it over and then I'm going to place it like this and I know that I can cut at least up to right here right so I'm going to put like an inch or so up to here I'm going to cut the rest of this off so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to start cutting make sure that you do not cut your Bible when you get to the edge of the Bible you're going to lift it up like this and you're going to place the scissors again and you're going to start cutting. Just going to cut like that. Cut like that. And you're going to cut all of that off, okay? All right. Now, we don't need this anymore. Put that over there. All right. So, this is what I was showing you. So every Bible and most books, they come with, when you open the inside there, it's covered um, by this layer here. Then when you flip over the, over the page, you see the white, and then you're able to write your name and everything like that, who it belongs to. Now, because this, this page here, this the front page is already sealed down so tight. Remember, today's goal is to do a very simple uh, way of covering this. So, we're not gonna peel this off, we're not gonna sand it, we're not gonna do any of that. If you try to peel this off, you're gonna be peeling it off in tiny, tiny, tiny pieces. It's gonna rip all over the place. We're gonna leave that right there. So because I am, this is not my Bible, okay? I'm just gonna cover this up, right? So here we go, right? So now we're going to cover this and when you flip it over you see that there's a white page right here there's a white page here and here this is what we're going to use once we have flipped over our fabric this is a page that we're going to use to glue here and to cover right here that's what we're gonna do okay so let's get straight into it so first of all you see that in the middle here there's a bend right so we just want to try to straighten that out we wanna to try to straighten that out a bit as much as we can. Bend it and straighten it. And I usually like to put glue on the middle first, okay? I like to put glue on the middle here first. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today because I like to flip it over and it be sealed that way, if it, you know, if I have to fumble with this a little bit, um, the middle won't come off, it's already there. So what we're gonna do now, we have our glue. We're gonna take it and we're gonna place glue all over the side like this. We wanna make sure that we get glue all over the side. 
so uh, this is a King James version but don't worry about that you'll still be able to see what version because it's listed inside your Bible when you open it, it tells you it's a King James version so uh, it's not a big deal but um, you know I was just I wanted to cover my Bible not necessarily for fashion but because um, the leather that was on it, it just started to peel off and it was getting everywhere, this brown leather, and it was very annoying. It would rub off on things. So I said, you know what? You know, the Bible is beautiful. Let me cover it with something beautiful. Now, we're gonna take our paper towel and we just kind of wipe this off real quick. If you don't close this quick enough, it's gonna ooze out all over the place. So we're gonna close that real quick. You're gonna close it each time after you finish using it okay and I would suggest that you wear a mask because you can smell the glue a little bit okay but you're going to uh, you see here all the glues on the side you are just gonna lay it like this you are just gonna press it flip it over and you're gonna press it into the side press it in press it in you're gonna rub it like that you're gonna make sure it gets all in there all in there I'm actually going to take this Bible and I'm going to kind of like rub it up against the side. You don't have to do that. That's just something I decided to do on the fly. And press it in, press it in, press it in. Make sure that you press it in. Make sure that all that glue gets in there. And every inch of that fabric on the side, I'm going to make that, make sure that glue gets there. Okay. All right, so now that that is pressed in, make sure it's pressed into the glue, the groove, because the Bible has a little bend. And what I like to do is I just kind of like to flip it over like this and press it down a bit. So that's good. Okay, now, Now, this is what we're going to do, okay? Let me make sure that that's flipped like that. Okay, that's good. I think I'm gonna leave that like that and then I'm gonna flip the back. What I wanna do is glue the back. So, you see when I flip it over now, it's not falling down because it's glued. Right, so I'm just gonna rub it again. And then I'm going to take my glue again. And I'm kinda gonna, I'm gonna put a little bit here along the edge, cause I wanna make sure that it gets, it gets all up in there, okay? I wanna glue that down also. And since I have it open, I'm gonna put glue all over the back. press down the glue from the edge at the bottom. You know, make sure it gets, I glue the edges first. Make sure it gets all up in there. You're gonna do here also. Make sure you get glue all up in there. Okay. And then I'm gonna do, I like to just make some circles around the back and make sure it's on there. Cause you want all of it to be you know, you want all of it to be there, okay? So I like to do that. guys is there anything that you guys enjoy doing the most what are your hobbies what are your post them in the comments post them in the comments all right so we are finished gluing the back we are finished gluing the back 
um, and I'm going to just I'm just gonna clear this off real quick once again clear that off cover it up real quick okay cuz it's gonna keep oozing out of there all right that's why we need our paper towel all right now I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm gonna flap it right over like that. I'm gonna flap and press, flap and press, flap and press. And what you what you wanna do is you want to um, press from like the middle going outwards because you want the glue to spread. You don't want any lumps of glue. And I also like to take my fist and press it down like this so that the glue goes outwards. I don't want any lumps. I'm rubbing the side. I'm rubbing it out like this. Use the side of your hand and kind of press it out like an iron. Press it out like that. Take the side, you're gonna press it out. Take the other hand, you're gonna press it out like that. Okay. All right. All right now. All right now. All right. Now, what we're gonna do then take this Bible that we've pressed and we're going to flip it. So that way when we're pressing on the top, the bottom is gonna be pressed down also, all right? Okay, let's do this. You see the, the side is glued already. Now we're gonna do the front. take my scissors and I'm gonna cut off a little bit more of this portion here. All right. Okay, now, here comes the other part. So, we have our inside portion here, okay? Just make sure that it fills every crease. Every crease. I'm gonna rub that crease out. Make sure there are no air bubbles. Any crease that you see, make sure that you rub that out. Just rub it. You wanna make sure that it gets all up in there. Press it down. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the back cover so that way, you know, when we keep it like this, it'll, right? So you see a little bit of that glue there, but that will dry. See any little spots here, whatever? That's our glue, but that will dry, so that's fine. So while it's on the front cover, we're gonna turn to the back cover, and this is what we're gonna do. Let me pull this up a little bit. So you see where the crease is right here? I'm gonna cut that, okay? First of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slice off this and leave another inch again. We don't need all of this. We, don't, we have to flip it over, so we don't need all of that. So I'm gonna cut here, leaving about an inch. You don't have to worry if it's cut crooked. That's fine because we're going to be flipping that over, okay? And you're also going to cut up here. I'm gonna cut a lot of that excess off, leaving about an inch or so. We don't need all this excess fabric. So you see how I have covered without even measuring. This is, this is a quick way, guys, all right? This is a quick way. All right, so here we have it. Now, let's go ahead and start gluing the rest. What we're gonna do before we start gluing is we're gonna cut these corners. So you see this right here? We're gonna carefully, we're gonna carefully cut that. So I'm gonna come right here, and I'm gonna cut that. 
I'll leave the other corner and turn my scissors here. I'm gonna cut right there in that corner. That way it's easy for us to flap over, okay? It's easy for us to flap over and to fold. Okay, flap over and fold. Let me see something. This will look better. I did it another way before. That can also work too, actually. All right. So, again, we're going to take out our glue. We're going to take out our glue. And we're going to glue. We're going to glue right here. We're going to put glue along this side. I'm going to put circles so that we... You know, we get all of it. All right. So, we're gonna flap this over here. I'm gonna take this and we're gonna flap that over. Flap, flap and press, flap and press, flap and press, flap and press. All of this is gonna be covered, so you don't have to worry about that. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pin this in here, like this first, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here. So I think I wanna do it that way. Put a little bit of glue right here, and press. Put a little glue right here, and then I'm gonna press it in. Close back our cap, okay. I'm gonna take this, then I'm gonna press it in like this. All right. Okay. So we're gonna press that in. Press, 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 press. Make sure you press it in. We fold it in a little corner in here. We're gonna press that in too, okay? Press that down, press that down. I'm just gonna put my scissor here to hold that in the meantime while I do this end. I'm gonna press this down. Press, 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 press. Press, press, press. I'm gonna take my corner. I'm gonna put it in here. So I need a little bit of glue. I need some glue here. I'm gonna flap my corner in there. I'm gonna press here. And I'm gonna need some more. And then I'm gonna press in there also. Okay, I'm gonna cover our glue. We're gonna put some more glue at the bottom because you see it's kind of popping open. So we need a little bit more glue. I'm gonna take my there and wipe off the excess glue. I'm gonna take this glue. I'm gonna put a little bit more under here. A little bit more under there. Oop. Gotta make sure that we take off this glue on the inside and that we wipe that off. Now let's take our paper towel. One second, I'm gonna wipe off that excess glue. We wanna get that off. We wanna get that off there, so. I'm gonna wipe that off, wipe that off. And we're gonna cover our glue back real quick. This is fine right here because you're gonna cover that up. So, we wanna do that. Okay, and then we wanna cover, cover. And we want to cover that down, okay? We're going to put that there. We want to cover this back down and press, okay? going to press that. And you're going to press that, all right? We just want to, we just want to make sure that this is in here because we're going to be gluing this down. So this doesn't have to be perfect. This right here doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna take this, wipe off the excess glue, 
And we're just gonna pull these in very tightly like this and press. Pull in and press. Push it in and press. Just like this. Just wanna make sure that our corners are tight for when we flap it over, okay? When we flip over that edge. So this is good so far. I'm just gonna use the scissors to hold down that edge right there. And we're gonna proceed to glue. Now you, for this project, you usually need one tube because it's a pretty big Bible. So we're gonna be using just about one tube on this. There are other book glues that you can buy also. In another video, I'll show you the other glue that people use when they are doing uh, book binding and such. So we wanna make sure that we get all of this here. We're making sure that we, you know, spread that around, spread that around, spread that around. It kinda looks like hot glue, but we know it's not, and we're gonna put it some right here too, on the edges. We're gonna make sure that we put some on the edges here. Now hold that down, make sure that you put on the edges. And we gotta squeeze down the rest. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda bend that forward a little bit. Bend that forward a little bit. There we go, and then we gotta press. Get some right in there, you're gonna get some in here. You're gonna press, you wanna make sure that you get all of that. You're gonna take off your scissors and you're gonna get that right there, get in the corner, the crease. Okay, here we go. We're about to about to lay it down. Alright. So now we have it flat. We'll take our back flap. gonna press take a back flap press all right I'm gonna wipe my fingers off I have a bit of glue on there okay now you're just gonna press down because you want to make sure that um you want to make sure it's in there. You're going to press down those sides. And press down these sides here. Okay. And press down these sides. Press down these sides here, rub off that excess glue. Press, 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 press. Okay, you're gonna press there because you want all of the corners down. You're gonna continue to press, okay. Okay guys, so the front and the back is finished. Um, it has been glued down. Now, you see these two sides right here? This flap and this flap. I'm going to put it face up like this and I'm gonna show you how we glue it down and how we tuck it in. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some glue. You see how glue is almost finished, right? This is a big Bible, so it takes a lot of glue. I'm gonna take the glue and I'm gonna put some of the glue right in here. Uh, you're gonna open that flap right there, that little hole. And you're gonna take some glue and you're gonna put it right down in there because when we flip this over, we want it to be glued down really good. Okay, so we put some glue in there. Cover it up real quick before it oozes out. I got some glue residue on my fingers, so don't mind that. Um, now we're gonna take this, we're gonna take our finger and that hole, you're gonna push 
that excess right in there, okay? What I like to do is after I take my finger and I push it down, I'm gonna take the scissors and then I'm going to push it down there just a little more and make sure that it gets down there. I'm gonna push it down there and push it in. And then I'm going to just squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze like that. I'm gonna make sure that it's in there, okay? I'm just gonna take the corner of my scissors and I'm gonna just push it in a little bit more like that and make sure everything is hidden, okay? Then I'm gonna take a little bit more of my glue and I'm gonna put just a little bit more right here at the top. so that we glue it down, okay? Take that. We're gonna push down the excess. Okay, we're gonna take our, our scissors and we're gonna gently push down the side like that, push everything in, make sure it's in there. And then we're gonna press in the corner. Okay, we see that our Bible has a little bend here, so we're just gonna go along with the bend and we're gonna press it in. Press it in. Again, don't mind the residue on my fingers. Just got some glue there. It easily comes off with soap and water. Use some warm water and it'll peel off. Use our scissors. Press that down in there. Take off those fray ends there. Take off those fray ends. Take our scissors. We're gonna cut this little piece here off. Just be careful. And we're gonna just tuck that in there. All right. So we did that. Now we're gonna come back on this end. So you have some paper towel here so that it doesn't stick together. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing to this end, okay? And we have the middle here, as you can see. Some of your books may have a bend in the middle because they're little, you know, bent out of shape and they've been used much, which is a good sign. That's a sign that you've been using it much. All right. There we have it. When I take this out here, you can see that we have a beautiful, beautifully covered Bible or book of your choice that you would like to recover. Very simple and easy, beautifully covered. There you have it. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Make sure that you share it with somebody or try it yourself. Until next time and until the next video.